if you're, you're young, think about a memoir, right? You know, because a memoir is a series of events about your life, while an auto autobiography is your life's journey from birth until where you are at. My name is Jackie Budesta Batanda, and I am a writer, I am an author, and I'm the senior managing partner of Success Park Brand Limited. So, Success Park Brand Limited is an educational company, and our focus is on providing book writing, book coaching, editing, and book marketing services for new writers. I normally run face to face one day book writing classes, but now all of that was cancelled right you know because we were in a lockdown then i decided okay let me try changing my wonder book right face to face in person classes to online i did a bit of research because the writers that i am working with know they have a story to tell but they have not written before so it's about the basics your hand holding from the start one other thing i would say is it also helped me focus on which other countries in africa i would focus on because in the first i say oh my dream is to run writing classes eventually in like 30 african countries but for a start there are actually eight of them i applied for the africa business heroes competition and i'd like to say one of the key things for me based on the questions that they asked us it has helped me rethink more about my business model. It has also helped me rethink more about the different clientele for the different products uh, that I have. But also the big thing, I had never worked on market size because most times when you begin a business, you, you will just start like, okay, yes, it's the passion, I'm going to have flyers, put it together, send it out, see who comes. I would say the Chakra Village is very special. It's a safe space where you honestly come and ask you how are you and you're like guys this is what is going on i am being strong for everyone else but in this village i feel safe so this is what is going on and my cohort which was the pilot one anyway we have kept in touch we cannot go quiet until the world gets back to normal because we don't know when that is going to be so we have had online check-in sessions i think like two or three Many people have been affected in different ways, you know, like in some organizations, maybe some have had to cut down on the funds or to let go of staff or they have had to close their businesses. It's just okay to start again, but be sure that the people that you're working with are okay.